numbers are down. Have you heard of that before? Whether you work for a large agency or an organization, I want you to think about that. Our numbers are down. I want to talk about our numbers being down in Toastmasters. In District 32, we have a goal of trying to reach advanced communicators, competent communicators, and membership. But we're not doing so well. As many of you know, we've heard from our district governor and our lieutenant governors of education and training. And I started asking myself, what can I do? What can the district do? What can you and you and all of us in this room do to help District 32? I started to think about that, and then I thought about this year's theme and last year's theme. This year's theme is Mentor, Lead, and Grow. Do you have a mentor? Do you have someone that's willing to be there for you when you're giving your speech or your icebreaker? Do you have someone that's mentoring you through the club and showing you how Toastmaster actually works? And my belief as a mentor is not just someone who's going to be teaching you to <coughs> polish your speaking skills. A mentor to me is a friend that's willing to be there from you, for you from the beginning to the end. Now I'm going to share with you a couple of examples of a few mentors in my life. When I first lived in Rochester, because I am a person born with a disability, many people thought, well, Lucas can't do this because he has this and this and this and this and that. And I was determined that I was not going to live in Rochester for the rest of my life as a person born with a disability. I had a guidance counselor who believed in me and my potential, and she taught me to never give up. Sadly, yes, she did pass away from breast cancer, but I'm often reminded, because of her belief in me as a mentor of mine and a friend, she taught me don't give up on your dreams just because you're born with a disability. Show people that you can do anything you want, irregardless. And then in Toastmasters, I've had a lot of mentors. When I was chosen or asked to serve as the dues chairman, our lieutenant governor of marketing back then, Bill Mansfield, taught me you know, you may get all these complaints about this and that, but don't give up. Believe in yourself and show that you can do it. Because if you have people who are being naysayers, you can't accomplish your goal as a news chairman. And I also think that mentor and leading go together. Because an effective leader is a person that listens. Another example of a good leader is that they have the skills to show you how to be an effective leader. Now, part of being a leader involves listening. If you're not a good listener, you're not going to accomplish the goals that you have set forth in your club, in your division, and in your area. Now, to me, I think a leader is also a person that's a teacher. I've been taught, again, from our current president, our current district governor, that, you know, you may start small and you may not be effective, but as you blossom, as you continue to learn your goals and your abilities, you will be an effective leader. And you can't be that person that gives the orders. You have to be that person that says, I'm here to help you, and I don't care if we're at the bottom, I don't care if we're in the center, and I don't care if we're on the top. We're all in this together. Last year, our previous district governor had the theme, the power of two. 
know what that means? That means you can't do it alone. You can't do it alone. You and you and you cannot do it alone. It takes all of us to reach the goals set forward in this Distinguished Club program. And I want you to think about those goals that we have. If you have people who aren't willing to help you reach those goals in the club, ask them why. Ask them, why is it that you don't believe we can do it? They may have to give you an answer, they may not be willing to give you that answer. But I believe in being a team player. A team player is somebody who says, you know what? Here we are right now. What are we going to do to reach the top? What are we going to help our what are we going to do to help our club president, our club officers, and our district governor and everyone within the organization to reach the top? Well, we're going to work together. Power of two means the district and the membership. We can't do it alone. So I want to encourage you, let's finish strong. Let's do everything we can to reach the top. Let's help our district governor to getting those membership goals done. Let's help our district governor and our lieutenant governor getting our educational goals done. Because we can do it, and I believe we will do it. Let's work together as a family. Let's work together as great members and ultimately as friends, that we can and we will reach the top. Mr. Postmaster.